brain tech yeah where tech is made simple google has started to roll out the latest version for chrome on desktop and that's version 107 which they started rolling out on the 25th of october which was late yesterday in my region now um just like the previous release version 107 has most of its changes um taking place in the background once again and that's mainly geared towards developers and at its heart is mainly and at its core is mainly a security update once again now i think the reason we are not seeing too many new features roll out um between the uh, version upgrades for chrome is because of the new four-week release cycle now back when it still used to be a six-week release cycle we did get and see a whole lot of new features rolling out between the major version upgrades but due to this four-week release cycle i have noticed that and the new features are a, a lot less thin on the ground so to speak between the major version upgrades and i have um had a quick check around the browser after upgrading and i don't really notice any new features or major changes that have rolled out now because as i have mentioned at its um, core it's mainly a security update it's always good to double check that you have this latest release because your browser um, is your um, first line of defense as i always mentioned to the online world and um, the latest version now is 107.0.5304.63. Now that point release could vary depending on the different operating systems or the different operating system that you are using. So if you are using Chrome on Mac, that will be 0.62. If you are using Chrome on Linux, uh, that will be 0.68. And on Windows, 0.62 or 0.63. Now... Um, the security updates that have rolled out there are 14 security fixes in total addressing 14 vulnerabilities in the browser and out of the 14 vulnerabilities that have been addressed and fixed three are high risk vulnerabilities which is your second highest vulnerability after a critical vulnerability so it is important to double check your browser is up to date now the three high risk um, flaws that have been addressed are type confusion in v8 that's the uh, v8 javascript engine which is a common exploit in the chromium based web browsers heap buffer overflow in falcon and use after free in layout and use after free is also once again a common exploit in the chromium based web browsers and then we have a couple of medium vulnerabilities and also a couple of lows so just double check your browser is up to date um, although there is no mention of any um, zero day exploits that have already been exploited in the wild um, just check your browsers up to date because there are three high risk vulnerabilities and fun fact if you click on the chromium logo in case you are unaware just on a side note and that little chromium logo goes for a little spin as we can see and i thought that was quite interesting that was actually pointed out to me by a viewer of this channel now um as mentioned most of the changes are taking place under the hood and there is one um, notable change just to uh, mention and that in version 107 uh, google has enabled support for hevc hardware decoding on all supported systems and the feature requires supported hardware and an operating system that supports hevc and those supported operating systems just to mention those quickly are android 5 and newer um, mac os 11 and newer and windows 8 and newer and chrome os and in case you were wondering what um, hevc hardware decoding is um, it stands for high efficiency video coding and is also known as h.265 and is a video compression format that is supported by many modern applications so that's more or less what's new in version 107 and as mentioned not much happening in the way of new features but version 108 um, is the next stable release and if we head over to the chrome platform status that's going to be rolling out next month on the 29th of november 2022 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one